So let's talk about Hindu phobia. I'm going to talk about it in in two ways. First is, and they are they are related. So first, specifically um, to the conference, and then more broadly, uh, just Hindu phobia in general. So with the conference itself, very much it's a political game. Right. Uh, these are scholar activists who. Um, are opposed to the current party and the prime minister. So they are opposed to the BJP and they're opposed to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And that to me is the root cause of of all of this. They um, present uh, the current government as one that is um, taking away the rights of religious minorities in India and um, and that that this current government is a danger to democracy and right. so that's kind of the motivating factor and then what they do is that any opposing they use first of all really kind of um, exaggerated language like right. fascism or supremacy and those types of things and then they go on to label any opposing viewpoint as that um as fascist as nazi as supremacist and right. so it's it's not an academic exercise if you are rather than you know debating and um, talking about specific policies and actually inviting opposing viewpoints or neutral viewpoints at that point i think you could say that it's an academic exercise but when you just have um, voices from one spectrum and then you use these types of labels. I would say it's not even constructive political engagement. It's just, um, I, don't, I don't even know what sort of word to put on it. I guess it's mm -hmm. activist in that sense. I mean, activists can also be constructive and it can be destructive. Right. And I would put this in the latter. Now talking about Hindu phobia more broadly, I think, you know, there's obviously Hindu phobia that's rooted in um, political uh, motivations, but I think that there's also Hindu phobia that's rooted in uh, the notion of religious exclusivism. Those mm. traditions that believe that they are the only truth, the only way, uh, are afraid of Hinduism. And I, and I actually, you know, a lot of people say, oh, don't use the word phobia and and i would encourage people to go to understanding org to see what a working definition of the word is but these are traditions that see hinduism as a false religion and for centuries uh, probably millennia they have attempted to annihilate hinduism through conversion and through violence now um, the fact is that we're still here and in fact, we're growing in popularity. People for millennia have come to India to find answers to their spiritual questions. Uh, people around the world are turning to things like go to yoga and Ayurveda and more um, pluralistic understandings of our place in the world, our relation with something greater than ourselves. And so therein lies the constant reminder that the efforts to destroy Hinduism have been a colossal failure. And that's where the other side of Hindu phobia uh, comes into play. And very often the political and this other kind of religious motivation, I do, I do think do come together. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.